Hi guys, my name is Christine and I am one of the leaders with Canvas Tribe and welcome to Oil Camp 3. Today's video is all about making our own joy lists. So if I was to ask you the question, when was the last time that you did something solely for yourself and solely for the purpose of bringing you joy? Now, not a lot of people can answer that right away. You might need to think about it. Some people might not even remember the last time that they did something just to make themselves feel happy. I don't know if you've ever been around somebody who is quite negative or, or maybe they're just gloomy, kind of down in the dumps, etc. They're not very fun to be around. They're not very um, magnetic. They don't have that, that happiness and positivity that we're so drawn to. And a really important aspect of self-care is doing stuff to make ourselves feel happy, feel joyful, feel, feel cheerful. Oftentimes, especially as mothers or business leaders, so maybe you have a big family or tons of friends, maybe you're the one doing all the planning, we don't tend to put ourselves first. We're always putting ourselves last. We have to do things for other people, our priorities are out of whack. We're not doing stuff to make ourselves feel good. And um, that's what I'm here to talk to you a little bit about today. Um, I'm gonna kind of keep it um, short and simple for you. I don't wanna overwhelm you guys with too much information because at the end of the day, it's important that not only we take care of ourselves, but we do things to make ourselves feel happy. The more happy we are, the more, uh, the more in a positive headspace we're gonna be and the more magnetic that we're going to be to other people. People are going to be drawn to us. They're going to see your happiness and our joy and um, want to find out more about that. Okay, so here, here's how it works. And it's really, really simple. I did it in like five minutes. You're going to make a list. So grab a piece of paper and write joy list at the top. Uh, and you're going to make two columns. Your first column is going to be things that cost money. And your second column are going to be things that are free. So you're going to start with 15. Now, if you can't think of 15, no problem. You can fill it up as you go. If you have way more than 15, keep on filling it out. So to give you some example of some of the things I put on my list that cost money, I have um, getting a massage. I mean, who doesn't love getting a massage? Um, going shopping, of course. I am a woman, I like to shop, I like to buy myself things. I don't get to buy myself stuff often because I have kids and I'm always buying things for them. Um, number three, you can see, is uh, my LRPs, my Loyalty Rewards Program order. I love getting that in the mail every month, being able to customize it and um, pick out the products that, that I want and that I need in my home. Got more expensive items like maybe going on a weekend away with my husband or a family trip with my kids. Um, we've got stuff like buying flesh, fresh flowers, chocolate bars, um, going to the movies, concerts etc. Going to the zoo. We love going to the zoo as family. So fill that up with things that cost money. It can be as simple as maybe it costs you, you know, a dollar at the dollar store to get yourself a chocolate bar. Or maybe it costs you a couple thousand dollars if you want to go away on vacation. So don't don't be afraid to put a price limit on it. Things that make you happy that cost money. Second side are things that um, are free that make you happy. So it could be as simple as sitting down to read a good book or maybe binge watching a couple episodes of your favorite show on Netflix. Um, going for a walk in the park, one of my favorites, having a bubble bath at the end of a long day. Baking, I love to bake. Singing, listening to music, dancing crazy in the kitchen. Um, those are just some of my examples. You got your list of 30. Some of you might have a little more, some of you might have a little less. Whatever works for you. And my challenge for you, every single day, pick one of these things. Whether it costs money or whether it's free. And do it. Implement it on a daily basis. Get into that habit, the consistency of doing something to make yourself feel happy. As we start to do that daily, when we build that consistency of, of doing that and making self-care a part of our routine, not only is it going to change our outlook on life, so you're going to become more positive, maybe see the silver lining in situations that, that might not seem so great, you're going to become happier, more cheerful, more joyful, and that's going to draw people around you that's gonna make your relationships with your family and your friends stronger. It's gonna draw in people who might not know. And being more joyful and more cheerful is not only great for our emotional side, but I think it's also gonna be a lot better for our physical side. People who are happier tend to live longer. They tend to sleep a little bit better. They tend to eat healthier. So not only is making your joy and your self-care priority great for your emotional and mental well-being, it's gonna be great for your physical well-being as well. Okay guys, so I hope you guys have fun. Get creative with your list. 
I mean, get your two-year-old to add stickers to it. Maybe sit down with your family, um, your husband or your kids, and they can help you fill out the joy list, or you can do one as a family. Um, and start making that happiness a priority. It's gonna be a little bit easier now that we're getting into spring and summer, and the sun's gonna be out more, we're getting more um, vitamin D. Make your joy a priority in your life and uh, see how it changes you. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in today. Um, I hope it wasn't too challenging for you guys to get a list done and start making yourself a priority. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.